cancers or oropharyngeal cancers are the cancers which involve our mouth and throat which means our tongue, our palate, tonsil, uh, larynx or the pharyngeal wall. It is a very common cancer and we see a lot of these cancers in India. Most of them are because of tobacco and alcohol abuse. It is very pitiable that a lot of cancers come in very advanced stages. A very few cases are amenable to surgery in this scenario. The major treatments which are done for these cancers are surgery, radiation and chemotherapy. The oral cavity tumors are preferable for surgery and in these situations radiation is only given after surgery to reduce the risk of disease coming back. Whereas oropharyngeal cancers, posterior part, most of the cancers are treated by radiation and surgery is done in lesser cases. Radiation when is uh, delivered for these situations is usually for 6 to 7 weeks. Cases where surgery has been done, radiation is for around 6 weeks. Those cases which are definitely treated with radiation are given 7 weeks of radiation. In 60 to 70 percent cases, chemotherapy is also given with radiation so that the effect of radiation is more. We call it radiation sensitization. Radiation is delivered after first preparing a mask of the body. The mask is prepared and then a CT scan is conducted. With that CT scan, we fuse the images of all the available modalities like PET CT scan and MRI if they have been done and localize and very clearly identify the area where radiation has to be delivered. At the same time, we try to protect those areas which are innocent like the salivary glands, the spinal cord and uh, eyes and the nerves inside which are not affected by cancer. The commonly employed techniques include IMRT and IGRT but the technique depends on the patient's profile and how extensive treatment is required. The major side effects which the patients encompass during these radiations are some dryness of the mouth, minor ulcerations or even sometimes more ulcerations in the throat during the course of radiation, the saliva becomes sticky, there may be uh, some uh, fungus in the mouth, the skin becomes reddish, it may be itchy and at times it can peel off. When chemo is also given along with radiation, there will be fall in blood counts. Additionally, patient has a sensation of nausea, vomiting. All these side effects can be suppressed reasonably well with some medications and also can be avoided by following some precautions. The precautions which are instructed during radiation are that all food has to be consumed at a room temperature, avoid spices in the diet, do not eat hard food, avoid tobacco, alcohol, any astringent which can burn your mucosa. At the same time, a very very regular mouthwash. We usually instruct you to conduct mouthwash at least 10 to 12 times in a day. And we do give some ointments to apply if the skin is burning a lot and we give some medicines to uh, reduce the peeling and if peeling happens, we give medicines to recover that skin integrity in due course of time. If chemo is given along with radiation, blood counts can fall. So we also tell you to avoid any raw or uncooked food or unhygienic food. If you follow these precautions, most of the patients recover well. Some late side effects are also there which depend on how much area of radiation we have given. Some patients have a very extensive tumor, so salivary glands may not be protected to the amount we want to. So these patients can have some dryness of mouth beyond radiation duration also. So in such situations, we advise that you should follow uh, strict mouthwash even after completion of radiation and some special toothpaste are also given so that your teeth do not decay after radiation. If all these instructions are followed stringently, most patients recover from the side effects between 2 to 3 months of completion of treatment.